Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the show with the child care talks between the various provinces and territories. Joining me now to discuss more about this is the Minister of Families, Children, and Social Development, Karina Gould. Uh, so, Minister, thank you very much for making the time. Obviously, you're still, uh, I guess, fairly new. In four days, it'll be uh, a month that you've been in this position. So, I'm sure now. Uh, you've probably had some time to have uh, some more briefings and uh, stuff on on regarding your new file. So um, maybe speak a little bit about just before we get started and talk about child care, maybe speak a little bit about some of the key things that you look forward to getting started on in your new role as minister. Great. Well, thanks so much, Wyatt, for having me on the show. I'm really happy to be here with you today. And as you said, it's uh, it's almost been a month since I was appointed to this position. Um, and it's been um, a really, really interesting experience so far. So childcare is one of the top things that I'm working on and I'm looking forward to signing agreements with the remaining provinces and territories. Um, but I also have under my portfolio a social development more broadly. So I'm also looking forward to working on our poverty reduction strategy, on um, the SDG agenda, so Agenda 2030 and the Sustainable Development Goals and what Canada is doing in the lead up to 2030. I'm also excited about all of the work in social innovation and social finance, as well as supporting the charitable sector. Okay, and so obviously you mentioned childcare is one of the big things that uh, you're, you're focused on. So maybe speak uh, a little bit about, you know, you've, you've came uh, to an agreement uh, for childcare deals with uh, many provinces. Uh, most recently you came to an agreement with the province of Alberta. Um, but maybe speak a little bit about what some of the next steps are to achieving $10 uh, a day childcare, for example, um, you know, you signed the agreement with these provinces, for example, most recently you signed the agreement with Alberta, but what steps need to be taken to actually enact the $10 a day child care? Yeah, it's a good question. So as you mentioned, a week ago, last Monday, uh, we signed a $3.8 billion agreement with Alberta. Um, and so that's great news for families in Alberta, because as of January 1st, 2022, they're going to see a 50% reduction in their child care fees for any family that's in a licensed regulated child care space in Alberta. Uh, and on Friday, I had the pleasure to announce uh, alongside Saskatchewan that they're actually reducing fees 50% retroactive to July 1st. And as of February 2022, um, families will see a 50% reduction on an ongoing basis in Saskatchewan. So the first step is reducing fees by 50% within the first year and then continuing to build more spaces so there's enough supply for families that want to put their kids in child care and then continuing to reduce those fees until we get to an average of $10 a day within the next five years. And uh, what about the provinces who haven't signed on to an agreement yet, specifically even, um, let's look at Ontario, for example, um, Premier Doug Ford said, I believe last week, and I'm quoting here, uh, he said, I'm not going to get the short end of the stick on this, uh, end quote. So maybe speak a little bit about that comment, but also just more specifically how you can work with other provinces and territories who, uh, you know, even though you might be of different partisan um, backgrounds, you can still work together to try and come to an agreement. Well, I would say that uh, overall partisanship has not been an issue for us. I mean, we just signed agreements with uh, provinces that are led by NDP, L uh, liberal and conservative governments. Uh, that's that's not what's, um, you know, holding us back by any means. Uh, you know, our job is to get good deals for the families of, can of Canada right across the country. And so um, there's a very good deal on the table for Ontario, $10.2 billion dollars that will have an immediate impact on families, on children, and on the economy here uh, in this province. I'm an Ontario minister myself, so you know I want to make sure that um, families in Ontario uh, do well by this, and I can assure you that, that they will. Um, and you know, we're having really good conversations uh, with New Brunswick and Northwest Territories, uh, so I'm looking forward to hopefully making some announcements there soon. Um, and of course, uh, you know, we remain available and ready to talk to Ontario. Um, as soon as as soon as they're ready to come to the table. And um, what would you say to because obviously, um, you know, in order for um, the province to get ten dollar a day child care, they have to sign on to the agreement. So what would you say um, just kind of in regards to like the reasoning why you mentioned um, they have a good deal 
on um, the table. So is there anything that you could say to convince them that you haven't already said? Well, all I'll say is that there's $10.2 billion available to help families and children in Ontario. And with that, we would be able to see a 50% reduction in fees within the next 12 months. You know, as I said, Alberta and Saskatchewan have already made the commitment to families in their provinces uh, to see that happen early next year, well ahead of schedule. Uh, so that's super positive and Ontario families could see the same kind of thing. Um, and then to continue to work towards that $10 a day uh, by year five. So um, it, it is a real meaningful difference uh, that families in Ontario would see because we pay some of the highest costs for childcare in the country. and so. Of reducing fees by 50% could mean, you know, for some families up to $12,000 a year um, that, that, you know, they'll, that they'll be saving. And that's, that's a lot of money for people. And um, you mentioned, obviously, Northwest, uh, the Northwest Territories and New Brunswick haven't um, signed on to an agreement yet either. Um, maybe just speaking a little bit about some of your conversations that you've had with them and how close you are to uh, reaching an agreement with them and just what the people of those two provinces can expect. Yeah, I mean, so it's the same objectives right across the country. Reduce fees by 50% within the first 12 months, get to $10 a day within five years, and expand the number of spaces so that there's enough spaces available for any family that wants to put their kid um, in childcare. And the conversations with uh, New Brunswick and Northwest Territories are very positive. I spoke to my counterparts, both of them, last week. Um, and so we're very excited about moving forward. Um, and hopefully having something to announce uh, quite soon. And um, speak maybe a little bit as well about um, the timeline of how long um, this will take. I know Minister Hussein, in, um, when he was the minister, um, you know, talked a little bit about that as well. But maybe speak a little bit about just um, how long until you see this ha um, happening, until the $10 a day child care will actually be enacted and then more specifically talk a little bit about if it's going to take the same amount of time for each province or if it could vary depending on the province maybe speak a bit about that yeah sure so different provinces and territories are at different levels you know some provinces and territories were already moving forward um, or had already done this so in Quebec for example uh, they already have child care for eight dollars and fifty cents uh, a day you know they've had universal affordable child care since 1998 uh, in Quebec. So, you know, they're at a very different stage than the rest uh, of the country. That being said, the Yukon, for example, made a commitment um, even before our budget announcement to move towards $10 a day childcare. So again, they're a bit further ahead of schedule. And Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, same thing earlier this year, they announced they were going to $25 a day um, child care. So, you know, different provinces and territories have different um, plans and, you know, our support for them takes that into consideration. So some provinces are going to be able to move faster than others just because they have more resources that have been invested into it um, because of decisions that they made before the federal government came on board. Um, but our objective is that within five years, all provinces and territories get to that um, average of $10 a day. And um, in terms of Quebec, I know that um, just after the program was announced about a week after um, is when I talked to Minister Hussein and I asked him specifically about um, Quebec and about how, you know, their child care is already affordable. And then he brought up um, kind of the idea that um, the challenge in Quebec is, you know, the amount of spaces and such in Quebec. So um, maybe speak if you can a little bit about that and just kind of how um, it can interlink with other provinces. And if you fear that um, you know, once $10 a day child care does happen, if, you know, the uh, other provinces could see the same issue of Quebec and then have, you know, a shortage of spaces. Well, Wyatt, I think you did a pretty good job explaining <laughs> the issue there is that one of the challenges that Quebec faced is that, um, you know, once they went down to what was at first $7 a day uh, in 1998, they saw a huge increase in demand for child care, but they didn't have the spaces to fill that demand. So we're trying to learn um, in the Canada-wide system from Quebec's experience by at the same well at the same time reducing fees, also expanding access. So, for example, in Alberta last week when we announced um, you know the agreement with the province of Alberta, we announced at the same time that while we're working towards that ten dollar a day within five years, 
we're also looking to help the province create an additional 42,000 spaces because we know that as fees go down, demand will increase because as more people can afford to put their kid in childcare, they're going to want to do that so that they can get back into the workforce and earn a better living for their family. So that's one of the key reasons uh, why we can't just reduce fees. We also have to grow the system at the same time. All right, Minister, and there's just one final question. You mentioned at the beginning some things that, you know, you look forward to working on, but maybe as a final question, just speak a little bit about um, some of the things that you expect to be challenging and some challenges that uh, you might already be facing or that you uh, pursue that you'll be uh, facing in the coming months. Sure. Well, I mean, I think it's one thing to sign the agreements with provinces, and that's another thing to make sure that they're being implemented and uh, and delivered. I can tell you that I have some amazing counterparts across the country who are really keen and eager uh, to do this, but we also know there's going to be some bumps um, along the road. And so my objective as the federal minister for families, children, and social development is to make sure that we're fostering a collaborative environment with provinces and territories so that we can work through some of these things together and also provide a space where provinces and territories can share their experiences and their knowledge um, because we're all kind of going through this together, right? And we want this to be a success right across the country. All right, Minister. Well, that was my final question. So thank you for joining me and uh, it's been great chatting with you and thank you again. Likewise. Thank you, Wyatt. Take care.